This week on Film Friday, we're taking a look at the glorious golden half. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and welcome back to Film Friday, the show where we take a look at all things film photography. This is the Golden Half. It is a half frame camera that uses 35 millimeter film. It's pretty much entirely plastic. It was made by a little Japanese camera company called Superheads. And uh, they made tons of these. I remember they were all over the place back in the day. Now they're a little more rare. And uh, I loved this camera. It was one of my favorite cameras to use back in the day. But unfortunately, they put rubber coating on these cameras and the rubber coating goes bad and makes the camera super sticky. So I actually ended up tossing mine because it got so gross. Every time I touched it, it took me forever to wash it off my hands. Uh, so I bought this one mint in package recently and uh, I'm hoping that this one isn't sticky. I can pop it open. Okay, moment of truth. Is it sticky? Well, yeah, it's actually super, super sticky. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it looked great in the package, but yeah, this rubberized housing is going bad fast. Cleaning the stickiness off wasn't as hard as I thought. It turns out the rubberized coating that's going bad on this camera is very, very thin. So all I needed to use were some alcohol wipes and just going over it a couple of times, I was able to remove all of the sticky coating. The big question you're probably asking is what is a half frame camera? Well, it's a 35 millimeter film camera that only shoots on half of a frame of 35 millimeter film. Uh, that means you get twice the photos that you would normally get on a roll of film. So if you put a 24 exposure roll in this camera, you can actually shoot 48 shots times two, which is pretty amazing. It really makes film shooting a lot more economical when you can double your exposures. Olympus made a bunch of half frame cameras back in the day. Uh, there were some Russian ones that were made as well. A couple companies were in on it, but half frame photography kind of dried up at the end of the film photography era when digital came into play. And Golden Half was one of the first companies to make a new camera that shot half frame photography. Let's open the back here to show you what I mean. Uh, as you can see, the gate here is much smaller than a normal 35 millimeter gate. It's half the size. And I love how small the form factor is of this camera. By only using half a gate of film, it really makes the camera much smaller than a normal point and shoot 35 millimeter. And that actually brings up an interesting point. Uh, Kodak, uh, in association with Rito cameras, recently came out with their own half frame camera. This is the Ektar H35 and I have one. I'm gonna make a video about this soon. And interestingly, they did not go the route of Superheads. Uh, they actually made a full size point and shoot camera. Basically what they did is they just put the half frame in the center, but it could have been a full frame camera pretty easily. They did change up the film advance to pull through less film. Um, but yeah, it feels like kind of a wasted opportunity, you know? Uh, they made this really big bulky camera, whereas Superheads just about 10 years earlier made it much smaller. Now comparing these cameras, the Ektar does actually have a bit of a leg up because it has a built-in flash, whereas the Golden Half only has a flash port, uh, so you gotta put your own flash on. But that is kind of nice that you can use your own flash. The Ektar does not have a flash shoe, so you're limited to the built-in flash, whereas you can use any flash you want on the Golden Half. Now one thing the Golden Half has that the Ektar does not is it has exposure settings. Uh, you can do sunlight for bright sun. You can do cloudy, open up your aperture a little bit more, or you can do flash, obviously, to use the cold shoe. All this has is no flash or flash, so it really only has one exposure setting. Now, in terms of optical quality, the Golden Half is pretty soft. It was designed that way. It was designed to have a really soft, kind of cheap lens, so you get a very retro feel, get a very vintage look to your images. Uh, it's not designed to have a particularly sharp image. And I think the Ektar does have a slightly sharper lens when I've compared and contrasted. Um, so the Golden Half is going to be a little more low-fi. But I've shot with this camera for a number of years and I've really liked the images I've been able to create with it. Yeah, they are soft, they do have soft edges, but they have this really great mood and feel to them. There's something about this little camera that I just really love, something about the images that just speak to me. So should you get a golden half camera? Well, uh, if you can figure out a way to deal with the stickiness, I would definitely recommend it. But if you're not really bothered about the extra compactness, I'd go with the Ektar H35. It's pretty cheap, it's available now, 
and it's also a really good kind of toy half frame point and shoot camera. This video is brought to you by photodeox.com. Photodeox is a photo and video gear and accessories company. If you are a photographer or a filmmaker, pretty much any gear you would need for your creative projects, we've got you covered at photodeox.com and click the link in the description below to learn more. If you have any questions about anything I've said in today's video, comment below, I'd love to help you out. Also click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and have fun shooting with toy half frame cameras. Cameras. I also really like what it says on the back of the camera. There's some explanatory text. It says, so throw away your book and why don't you go out?